Hey there everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and, and welcome to Five Nights at Darl's Remake, where this is a game made by Devin Manning and Darl Silverstar, which for those who don't know, Devin Manning is the creator of the Five Nights at Darl series, Night Shift at Darl series, Five Nights at the Mind series, Five Nights at Freddy's Pixel Edition 1 and 2, Five Nights at the Illuminati series, One Night at Tortellini 1 and 2. So yeah, and this was a game I've been wanting to do for a while. I never got around to doing it a couple of years ago, but um, somebody actually re-uploaded this game, this full version, and just as a disclaimer, the last Finance of Dolls remake video I did was the, um, it was a beta test version, not the full version. This was re-uploaded by a user named Noyup Gaming, and I'm definitely glad he re-uploaded it. And this is the remake from the original Finance of Dolls 1. The remake from the original Final Fantasy Dolls 2 was going to happen, but that got cancelled. But, um, anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game soon as the Omnivores. Help Wanted, Mr. Dolls Pizza Place. Looking for security guard to work the night shift from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Watching security cameras through highly advanced user interface to make finding the location of a problem found on cameras easy. Payment is $288. Work an extra shift, and the amount adds up to $345.06. To apply, call 401 DTI apply. Okay, and I was actually given a tip by um, Coolman61. He's the YouTuber that does these walkthroughs for the Let's Plays, and um, he told me that there is a um, we have to click on a poster of Doll, Darla, and Gina to get a secret like letter. Which first I'm gonna click on the poster that Darla is on, which is Cam Three. So let me see what happens if I click on the poster. Uh, Whoa! Is that some kind of glitch or something? Whoa! There's, that's a white, a demonic version of Darla. Okay. Okay, so we got a letter. February 7th, um... Let me read it. February 7th, 1974. The machines are keeping the old man alive. I don't know how or why. But he lives on through the, uh, uh, what does that read? Oh, I can, I can read it. I couldn't read it for a while. It says, the old man lives through this old rusted costume that belongs in a scrapyard. He built this diner, and he surely doesn't want to give it up now, so he refused. And I apologize if you can't see the letter, but I'm going to turn on the light just so you can see that. Let me see what it reads. It also reads, um... Nobody else knows besides me. They're building a new machine, brown white eyes, has more modern functions, but they are postponing his unveiling until they finish the redesigns of the others. But he is finished. My son is very attached to the thing. Refers to it as his friend. Children in their wild imaginations, I tell you. I must be making this short. He's calling me again from Aaron Ditters. Press space or enter to continue. Okay, so we're getting these secret messages every time we hit, press a poster. That's kind of interesting. Okay. On to it again, because we got to trigger, we got to trigger the um, demonic versions or shadow, the demonic versions or shadow versions, whatever you want to call it, of, um, of, um, I'm going to mute the call, actually. We got to mute, we got to, um trigger these jump scares to get a letter. Okay, so the next one we got to trigger is, G is Darl's, then Gina, which I'm going to click on the Darl poster on Cam 3, or 2, sorry. Okay, we got Darl's jump scare. That's a pretty creepy demonic version of Darl and Darl and Gina. All of these demonic versions are really creepy, especially the jump scares. Okay, here's a letter we have to read. Okay. Entry number 15. I hadn't seen Keith in days. He's been cooped up in his office designing, redesigning, and planning these humanoid cartoon characters for this dream. He had a food joint where cartoon characters walk around and greet the customers. Unfortunately, there is a currently no way to execute this due to the technology of the current tone. I'm fully aware that this will be possible in the future, 
But this isn't the future. This is right now. I think he's calling it Dari's Diner or something like that. I really don't remember. I do want want this to succeed, but I'm unsure if it will. At least we'll be able to say we made an attempt. All right, next jumps, next post we have to click on is Gina, which is the last one we need to trigger. Okay, so let's go press Gina's poster. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to close out of that. Do I click this one, or do I click that one? Which one of Gina do I click? Or is there a poster on here that I need to click? Because I need to click on something of Gina. Wherever it is. See if I can find a poster of Gina on the camera. Unless I have to click the one in my office. Okay, I gotta click the one in my office, apparently. Let's click on it. Okay, why is it not working? Do I have to click on her head or something? Oh, we got it. Perfect. There's Gina. Very demonic version indeed. Okay, next entry. October 4th, 1979. The machine took my flesh and blood away. I was in a haste, but then I had remembered. The brown one. The machine kept him alive. I had no choice left. Only tomorrow will reveal his fate. Once again, from Aaron Ditters. He's the one who writes these entries. Okay, these are actually very disturbing entries of what Aaron Ditters is writing. Whoever he is, I need to know. He's probably some kind of night guard or something, or owner. But he looks pretty depressing to me. Or sounds depressing and demonic. Okay, so we got the three secret letters. So we are good. So now we can take on night one officially. Now we can officially take on night one since we got the three letters. So without further ado, we will take on night one in this video and see what has to offer for us. And I'm going to listen to the phone call this time. I muted it so that I can check for the letters. Because we needed to find those secret letters. Which I'm glad I found them. Just to, you know, lure 
animatronics, uh, get them from point A to point B, whatever we need them to. You know, basic stuff. Uh, it can't, yeah, you can't send multiple commands at, <coughs> at once. Uh, it'll probably mess, c cause them to malfunction and we don't want that, so we just completely disabled it. Um, Alright, so as I said before, the animatronics roam at night. Uh, this is due to like their servos locking up. Uh, and uh, if they happen to see you after hours, they'll either see you as an endoskeleton with that costume on, or on rare occasion, a, a empty suit without an endoskeleton. And it's usually the, the first one. And if that does happen, they'll try to forcefully stuff you inside of an animatronic suit. Uh, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the character's suits, uh, if these suits didn't have uh, animatronic parts. Um, they're, they're not uh, cuddly, adorable, easy-to-wear suits. Uh, they have crossbeams, wires, uh, just a bunch of parts made specifically for the endoskeletons. Um, you can pretty much piece together the rest. Um, uh, so, uh, the latter, the latter um, if they see you in a suit, um, it's not going to be pretty. I'll just leave it at that. Um, usually that doesn't happen, um, so just don't worry about it. Um, um, uh, Jesus, is there anything else? Uh, nope, that appears to be it. Um, all right, I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Good night. All right, on to night one. I'm assuming night one's going to be a freebie where none of the animatronics move, because I haven't seen any of them move. And also I'm hearing a music box. Is that supposed to be concerning? Press and hold the mouse button while I'm... While I'm well, sorry, I stuttered there. While mousing over the hallway to use the flashlight. Okay, mousing is actually a weird word. You should say, like, hover, not mousing. It's kind of a typo there. <laughs> and then we have the stun button, which will blind... Doll, Darl, and Gina if one of them shows up the hallway right there. Which we only have a limited amount. And if we run out, then we have a backup option, which is the reboot system. Or the luring system to lure them back to a camera. Which we're probably not going to need it. We're either going to rarely use that, or we're never going to need it at all. Alright. And hopefully I can get into night two, because I got the secret messages, so I should be able to do it get into night two for the next video because that was really the confusing part about this game trying to figure out how to get the letters and get to night two but I figured it out so I'm glad I did okay that music box is very intimidating am I supposed to be concerned at this part does that lead to a certain death or something I thought I was gonna get killed by those like shadow I mean demonic animatronics of the demonic versions of Darl, Darl, and Gina, but it just gives you a message. Huh. I'm assuming throughout this game we're going to be finding secret messages. Because we got three secret messages from an entry by Aaron Ditters. Or Difters, sorry. I, I didn't mean to... I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It's Aaron Difters. I'm assuming we'll get more secret messages from them. Okay, I have no idea why they haven't moved yet, but I guess it's the freebie. Jesus! That noise scared me. Does that mean they're moving or something? Is that noise supposed to be concerning? Am I supposed to be concerned by that noise? Same with the music box. Because I'm starting to get intimidated right now. Just by the way it sounds. Because the way it sounds, it's very intimidating. Well, we made it to 5 a.m., so that's good. Oh, 
Okay. Let's see what happens after this. Guess I can just wait for the night to end because it's a freebie. Since we're not dealing with any animatronics. Until night two. Here we go with the music box again. And we beat night one. Look at that. Love that music there. Yay, the kids are cheering. Okay, so what do we have next? Mouse is controlled, same in the sister location. What's with this cutscene right here, or this minigame? How am I supposed to get into night two? What a minigame showing up. CCTV2 uh, poster, two clicks. And that's just doll lying there or something, whatever. God, how am I supposed to do this minigame? Because I don't know how to do it. I'd love to know, but I don't. Police tape. Okay. Oh, we just keep moving? Okay. So we just explore the... Okay, so I figured it out. We just explore this building because apparently we're investigating it, I think. I think we're either the night guard or the or a police officer. And we have to investigate this building. Okay, I kind of understand how to play this minigame now. We just have to find an open door like this one and we just keep moving. And we have to search the place. Alright, do I see anything over here or no? What's that? Okay, I thought I saw something, but I do not. Okay, uh, which way do I go? I need to figure this out. Which way do I go? Okay, that's a CCTV 3 poster. Okay. So what else do we need to find? Okay. Hmm. Alright. I'm searching the building. Is there anything suspicious we have to find? Okay, I'm going to another part of the building. I don't know what I have to find. Am I just investigating the building or something? Or what am I doing? Okay. Okay, this mini game's kind of confusing. Do I just run around the place searching for something? Okay, so I'm going straight right now. Right now I'm going straight, so... I guess we just keep moving till we find something. Because if we can find something, that's good. All I found are police tape and two, like... Deactivated animatronics. I found two things, so I think we have to go... I believe the blue thing means we're, we're finding something. I believe that's what the blue square's name. We're finding something. I believe that's what it means. Oh, but I'm going in the wrong direction. Okay, keep moving. Okay, let me see which way to go. There's two entrances, and I need to figure out which way to go. Dang it, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, we're going this way this time. Okay. Okay, so we got we have a compass right there. That will point 
to which way we're going to, that compass. So that's a good thing. I didn't notice that till now, but... Oh, what's this? Office poster, two clicks, white chair. Okay, what am I finding? Am I finding something, or am I just keeping running around? Or do I just keep running around for no reason? Do I just have to find my way to the exit? I feel like I need to find my way to the exit. God, this is really confusing. Oh. Okay, I, I, okay, now I understand how to do this. Okay. So, after we, um, beat not each night, we have to make our way to the exit, and then we jump into the next night. Okay, that makes sense. It was a little confusing, that whole mini game where we have to run around to find the exit, but we figured it out, and I beat it nonetheless. But anyways, we will take on night two in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.